Hey, what's going on good people? Welcome back to the Kicks Reasons channel and today we have a great classic again recent pickup for me this shoe this is the Reebok DMX 10 Icon 2 uh, I was super excited to see these ones on eBay you guys know I keep an eye all the time on sites like that to find something vintage that is wearable and I can show it to you and talk to you about it now What's great about this shoe, it is featuring the original DMX-10 uh, system, as you can see, five pods in the back, five pods in the front. We have the air transition bridge right in the middle. And this one is excellent because it's this vibrant volt color, uh, which, you know, really pops out on this shoe. And uh, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but we have reflective vector logos. We have reflective vector logo on the ton. We have a reflective DMX that it's right here on the back. Um, so. A lot of reflective, uh, I think at the time that was 3M actually, it's not just reflective, uh, I've mentioned that before. And uh, you can definitely see how these pods are protruding. Uh, we're gonna put it right next to the original DMX 10 run and you'll see the differences. Uh, the original DMX 10 run uh, didn't cover the back two pods with solid rubber. They keep that uh, kind of exposed with this translucent one. And I think it was kind of a problem because a lot of people when they bought this shoe, uh, when they ran or they kind of drag their heel, this portion here will rub off and kind of expose the DMX and they will pop. And after that, obviously you can't really use them. Uh, but later they started covering these uh, pods and you'll see even on this DMX6 uh, version, how uh, the back two pods are solid rubber. So this protects the DMX system inside. If you're dragging your foot too much or you're running and it's better to be protected, right? Okay, so this D uh, DMX 10 Icon 2 features the exact same setup midsole outsole as the original Icon. Uh, if you go on the internet and just type uh, Reebok Icon DMX 10, uh, you will see that it's exactly the same uh, kind of a midsole and outsole. Uh, very soft with the same kind of a wing on the lateral side uh, that says DMX on it. Uh, obviously the top uh, is completely different than the original. Uh, and what some of you might actually think that reminds them of, if you see this uh, toe box right here and kind of at the side, uh, this fabric is very reminiscent to another shoe which you can probably see right here in the corner now. Uh, the latest Lebron, LeBron model from Nike. Uh, they kind of use a similar technique of, uh, you know, bunching up the fabric, uh, but you guys know this, this came in 2002, almost 20 years ago. By the way, they're still fully wearable. Uh, we have a vector logo right on the, on the front. We have a vector logo right here. And the only problem I see with this shoe is the back of the ton. Uh, for some reason, Reebok put this synthetic kind of a vinyl uh, thing. They do this all the time in a lot of shoes and it's startling to, to crack. But I really don't care about that because this is easy repair. I can just stitch another piece of leather right here. It's super tiny and it will be easy to uh, kind of a, you know, fix, I guess. Uh, let me pull out the insole. And this is again, original DMX insole inside. Uh, very anatomically correct, as I mentioned before, with arch support right here. Uh, these are great, uh, I love them. And they have them pretty much in all the shoes at the time. And man, when you put these on feet, again, they feel like you're on clouds. I mentioned that many times before, and those of you that are familiar with the DMX system know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, these are size 8 US, uh, a little bit smaller. I was having a little bit of a concern that it would be smaller for me because I'm eight and a half. Uh, but uh, putting them on feet, they're actually pretty good. Uh, you know, obviously, they're, they're worn before, maybe that's why uh, you know, they fit me perfectly well. But at the same time, maybe just the model was tailored that way back in the day. It was, uh, it was running a little bit uh, bigger, so no problem whatsoever. I can wear them. They're fully wearable and obviously I'm gonna put them on feet and wear them around. So this, this was my uh, goal for this uh, particular pair that I grabbed, which by the way came all the way from Ukraine. <laughs> I saw them on eBay a while, while back, the price was too high. I waited, I waited, I waited. Uh, patience always pays off. I told you that guys before many, many times. So uh, I ended up paying $40, $40 and about $15 shipment. So you can imagine, I mean, a great vintage model that is still wearable for this price, perfect for me. 
there's not much things to repair on this shoe except the, the backside but for now i'm just gonna leave it the way it is uh cracking or not it's not gonna prevent me from wearing them and the only little issue that i am seeing is on this right shoe on the lateral side a little bit of the vector kind of the back side of it it's coming off but that's an easy repair with a tiny bit of a glue we'll go back in where it belongs and there's no problem yeah i think personally these are super awesome and they're gonna go on my feet to finish this summer in style i absolutely love them uh you obviously can see you know the, some of the design elements uh kind of reoccurring from that time the dmx was a big push from reebok at the time these late 90s early 2000s they were doing a lot of shoes with this particular system or with this particular system uh, speaking of which i have another dmx6 coming very soon which you guys are going to see a uh, couple of brand new nike models just came in uh, a lot of other videos that i'm planning to do so guys stick stick with me with the channel we're gonna do a lot more often uh, videos very soon i have a big announcement big things are happening here uh, i'm gonna dedicate a lot of more time to you guys and bring you more videos uh, with shoes like this uh, some new ones you guys are gonna be uh, super excited to see a lot of things so uh, hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new and until next time guys you have a wonderful day